Hi everybody, Holly Dean Coupon Queen here. It's a brand new sales week at Publix. We have some insane deals this week. I am so excited about. So before we get to it, I do have a $2 off 10 Publix perk in my app that's in my wallet. So it's gonna come off at the end, save me an additional $2 on top of all of my coupons. I also have my Word document ready, printed. This has links for everything. The links that are for rebate apps, if you don't have these rebate apps, if you could sign up with the link in my Word document, I'd greatly appreciate it because I do get credit for it and it helps support my channel. So thank you all for that. Before we go inside and go shopping, I hope you all saw my YouTube post earlier today because this is like the biggest toy haul that I have gotten from Zuru. If you're not already, make sure you join the Zuru Toy Network Facebook group. It's called Zuru Toy Network because Zuru makes mini brands, they make X shots, they make all these different toys that you see in all these different stores and you've probably bought at least one of their products before. but you can get their products for free. It's so cool. So how they do it is they use Walmart, Target, Amazon, and you purchase the product, you review it, and then once you review it, then you'll get the money back via PayPal, including tax, um, which I like. So I'm gonna show you four, so they just posted today. I don't know if it's still available at this moment, but make sure you join, make sure you go check because they literally had 30 items that they posted for boys and girls and they said you can pick up to seven. I don't think I've ever gotten to pick up to seven before. It was absolutely insane. So of course, my daughter and I are obsessed with mini brands, so I figured early Christmas shopping is underway. So this is perfect. So I picked some of these, and these are just four of the seven items. The other three I had to have shipped because my store didn't have them in stock. The three that I had to have shipped was the Mini Brand Series 5 Advent Calendar, which has 24 minis in it. One thing I learned the hard way last year is that the Advent Calendars are the same. So if you buy two Mini Brand Series 5 Advent Calendars, they're going to have identical minis in them. They're preset, so only buy one of each unless you want doubles of something, but most people typically don't so I would only recommend buying one also the advent calendars have exclusive minis in them that you cannot find in the balls or in the packets so if you're a collector make sure you get the advent calendar because you're gonna get those exclusive minis all right so I have that one I have a four pack of the balls each ball has five of them in it so 20 total minis in that plus I also got a rainbow corn kitty corn which is not mini brands it's like a little stuffed animal and it comes with you know some little trinkets it's really cute my daughter loves them that's gonna be one of her Christmas presents the advent calendar is probably gonna be something we do both together because I actually got two different advent calendars and um, then of course the the mini brands balls are gonna be a Christmas present for her as well I also got this Zuru uh, snackles so it's a little stuffy and it says it grows doubles in size when you take it out of here but it also comes with a random little snack so the surprise is the snack i don't know if this stuffy is a surprise it looks like it is because these are all the ones you can collect but i got this one i also got the foodie mini brands we love these they're so cute all different kinds of restaurants that you can get and they're all miniature the scale is a little bit off sometimes they fit like a, a normal Barbie which is a 1 6 scale doll but some of them are a little bit bigger so scales a little crazy but they're all so cute we just love to have them now here's the other advent calendar that I got series 3 toy mini brands oh my goodness if you all are not familiar with these then you're in for a treat because they have books they have miniature books. They're like actual books and they have actual words in them. I can't read them without glasses, but when I put my glasses on, I can read it and it's, it's so realistic. It's one of the most realistic minis they've ever made. In my opinion, it's my daughter's new favorite mini brands item, but they have books in here. And again, this contains, this one says four exclusive minis. And, um, but again, you only wanna get one of these cause they're all gonna have the exact same thing in them. So don't get more than one. And then the last thing, I didn't even know this existed, but 
mini brands make some mini fashion and they have the cutest little purses and then they have other little things like these little sunglasses that actually open um, the lipstick where the top comes off and they're, they're miniature a lot of them are perfect size for Barbie but this is a set we're not normally a fan of the sets because they're you know like the, the the background pieces are kind of cheapy plastic with the stores the shelves I don't really care for because I don't feel like they're sturdy or that they hold stuff right I'd rather make my own but this looks more like I don't know like Barbie type of quality even it has a doll in the picture but it's a place that you can put all your little purses and all your little shoes and makeup and all that stuff and it also comes with an exclusive so something that you're only gonna find in this I don't know if that's the exclusive one I know my daughter doesn't have that one so she'll be excited for this um, and then it comes with four others and uh, yeah, that's just really cute. She's gonna be excited. She's probably gonna keep this. We got rid of all the little stores and stuff because we didn't really care for them. But this she'll probably keep. So this is gonna be another one of her Christmas presents. This and the two advent calendars retail for $30 each. And the four pack of balls retails for $30. So in total, my seven items were over $150. And I got them for free because I'm getting reimbursed for them. So join that Facebook page. It's a Facebook group, I should say. Join that Facebook group, and if the post is still up, she's really good about updating it whenever she runs out of stock um, or out of you know spaces for reviews, but make sure that you scroll for that post. It should be at the top when you do get accepted into the group, or if you're already in the group, go now. So, I know that was a lot of talking. Thank you all for your patience. Um, I am gonna do a giveaway in this video uh, to say thank you for all of your support, but really for watching my videos and not skipping through them because I know it's very tempting just to kind of skip around to what you wanna see. Um, so, I'm gonna give away three people. I'll, I'll give away four of the $1 off one Dawn dish soap coupons. There's new ones that don't expire until September 30th. So, for four people, I'll give away, uh, did I say four? Four people, I'll give away four coupons. Um, just email me at pdfcoupons at yahoo.com that you'd like to be considered for it. And on Friday evening, I will pick four random people and I will reply to you. If you don't get a reply, that means you're not a winner, but I appreciate you. And we're gonna go inside and we're gonna get some of the best deals this week. Let's go shopping. Our first public steal is on these Hope Hummus containers that are buy one get one free priced at $5.49. We have a $1.25 off one digital coupon. We also have a $1 Ibotta rebate that's a limit of five. However, it says you cannot combine it with coupons. So if you live in Florida, you're gonna buy two, use the digital coupon on one and submit to Ibotta for the other. And you're gonna pay $1.62 each. If you live in any state other than Florida, then you're just gonna get one and use that $1.25 off one digital and pay just $1.50. The next public steal is on these bags of community coffee that are buy one get one free, priced at $8.99. And I have this $2 off one tear pad. I found it at my military commissary. However, you might be able to find these elsewhere. Let me know in the comments if you all have seen these tear pads. And after the coupon, I'm going to pay just $2.50 per bag. The next public steal is on these Lipton Tea 64 ounce bottles. As you can see, my store was completely out. But check your store because we have a $1 off one digital coupon. I also saw a separate $1 off two digital coupon. And we have an Ibotta rebate that is a limit of five for $1 back. Plus, this is a stocking spree item, so for each bottle, you'll get 20% cash back, which is about $0.40 cents per bottle. So with the $1 off one digital coupon, these will be a $0.40 cent money maker. If you have the dollar off two digital coupon, and then they're going to be $0.10 cents per bottle. The next deal is on these bubbly six packs of sparkling water. They're buy one get one free, priced at $4.99. And I have this 50 cents off one coupon. This came from the Family Savings Magazine found at the Military Commissary. There's also a dollar off three digital coupon if you don't have this coupon. Plus, this is a stocking spree item, so you're going to get 20% cash back. That's after the sale price, which is going to be about 50 cents per pack, making your final price as low as $1.50 each. 
The next Publix deal is on these Ritz Toasted Chips. They're buy one get one free, priced at $4.69. And we have two separate Ibotta rebates that we can use on these. One is for a dollar back on one, that's a limit of five, that's specifically for the toasted chips. And the other one is for two dollars back when you buy two, and that is a limit of one. Now, I had these dollar off two peelies, so what I ended up doing was buying four bags, and I got the $2 back when you buy two, which cannot be stacked with coupons. And then the $1 I bought a rebate for all four. And then I used the coupon on the two that I did not get the $2 back on two for. Those bags um, came out to be a little bit more because the coupon is a lower value. This is a stocking spree item. So you submit to stocking spree, you're gonna get 20% back, which is about 47 cents per bag. So each of these with just the Ibotta rebates are going to be a 12 cent money maker each. The scenario where I threw in the two extra bags and used a $1 off two peely came out to be 38 cents per bag. The next deal I wanted to mention was on these planters peanuts. These are the 16 ounce jars. Buy one get one free priced at $4.49 and I have this dollar off two tear pad and I found this at Winn-Dixie. You might be able to find it at other stores. I've also seen Peelys, so make sure that you're looking out for those as well. That makes these just $1.75 per jar. We have another really awesome Threshold digital coupon. It's on a variety of brands, but it includes Tyson, and these Tyson Anytizers are on sale. Buy one, get one free this week, priced at $9.99. So you're gonna clip that digital coupon, it's for $3 off of $15, and it counts it before the sale, before the BOGO sale, so it will work on two. So with that coupon, when you buy two, you're gonna pay just $3.50 per bag. And I did try this out today and it worked perfectly. We have a really awesome deal on Halo Top ice cream this week. They are buy wing it one free, priced at $5.99. And there is a my points offer for $4.78 back when you buy two. And we also have a Shopkick offer for $1.54 back. That's when you scan it in store and then purchase the product and upload your receipt. That's a limit of one. And when you buy two and submit to my points and Shopkick, they're gonna come out to a 15 cent moneymaker each. The next deal is on these beach nut pouches that are buy one get one free, price it $1.29. My store had a very minimal variety. I don't know if they're getting rid of this product or what's going on, but they had a very minimal variety. We have an Ibotta offer for a dollar back when you buy eight. There's also a dollar back when you buy four, but it's only a few select varieties, and I don't know if Publix carries them. My store certainly didn't. So for this deal, it's a dollar back when you buy eight, and that's any of the other flavors, and that's going to bring our total to 52 cents per pouch. The next deal that we have is on these Listerine one liter bottles that are priced at $6.32. What you're going to do is you're going to grab three of these, we have a digital coupon for $5 off 15, plus we have an extra savings flyer coupon for $2 off of one, and that's gonna leave you to pay just $2.65 each. Now there is a back to school rebate that this product qualifies for, and I have that linked in my Word document, and it includes a variety of products. We'll talk about another deal that can go with it, but it's $5 back when you spend 20, $10 back when you spend 30, or $25 back when you spend 75. So you could put together a larger scenario for this deal, but this will count towards a little over $18 worth of this. And I'll show you another deal that way you can get to that $20 threshold, but it includes a lot of products. The next product is this Band-Aid gauze that is $2.49. We have a $1 off one coupon in the 716 save insert. I apologize, I could not find that insert for the life of me, so I don't have a picture of the coupon. But we also have a $2 off one Publix Extra Savings Flyer coupon. That's gonna make one of these a 51 cent money maker. So the best scenario that I put together for this was you're gonna grab one of the Band-Aid gauze at 249, three Listerine at 632. You're gonna use the manufacturer coupon for the Band-Aid, the 
Publix Extra Savings Flyer coupon for $2 off one for the Band-Aid gauze. You're going to use the $5 off 15 digital coupon for the Listerine and three of those Extra Savings Flyer coupons for $2 off one on the Listerine. And submit to the Back to School rebate. You're going to get $5 back for spending $20. And your final price is going to be $2.45 for all four items, which comes out to $0.65 cents an item. Really awesome deal. Next, this is something I just wanted to throw in there. These Pillsbury Grands are buy one get one free priced at $3.99 and we have another one of those threshold coupons. When you spend $15, you save $5. I grabbed four of the originals and the coupon did not come off. Now, I did have the $1 off two coupon clipped. I don't recommend clipping that if you're trying to use this $5 off 15 coupon but that flavor may just not be attaching to the coupon. So I ended up taking it back off. Don't hesitate to at least give it a try. And if the coupon doesn't come off, just ask them to take it back off. It's not a big deal, but let me know in the comments if you do find a variety that is attaching to the coupon. So if you can get it to work, you'll get four of them and they'll come out to just 75 cents each. Another product that my store was out of, but I definitely wanted to mention was these Siggy's Coconut Milk Yogurts. They're on sale 10 for 10, so a dollar each. You're gonna grab two of them. You're gonna use the dollar off two printable coupon that I have linked in my Word document. Plus you're gonna submit to Ibotta for $2.29 back when you buy two. That's a limit of one. And your final price is gonna be a 65 cent moneymaker per cup. Next, we have hands down my favorite deal of the week. I did get these last week, but they were full price. Now they're on sale. Buy one, get one free. These are the sweet and salty mix 12 packs. They're buy one, get one free priced at $8.49. A few different rebates we have for these. The same my points offer for $8.50 back when you buy two. Even if you did this deal last week, it's a limit of two per calendar week. So you can do this deal again two more times. My Ibotta rebate reset is for a dollar back when you buy one. That is a limit of five. And we also have a new checkout 51 offer for $2.90 back when you buy one. That's also a limit of five. So what you're going to do is grab either two or four boxes if your store has enough. And once you submit all of those rebates, it's going to come out to a $3.90 moneymaker per box. So if you can find four, that's a $15.60 moneymaker, which will pay for some of your groceries. I love it. Now, my points, swag bucks, and inbox dollars are all sister apps. So you can do this in all of those apps, but not from the same receipt. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go back and also, I prefer my points over swag bucks and inbox dollars because the value of for the points is higher in my points. So I get back $8.50 in points on my points. Swag bucks and inbox dollar. Inbox dollars is only $8 back when you buy two. So a little bit different value. That's why I always opt for my points over the other two. But what I'm going to do is go back in a few days and I'm going to get four more and I'm going to submit my receipt to Swagbucks and redeem my four offers ov over on Swagbucks. And then to Ibotta, check out 51, I'll only have one offer left, but it will still be a 50 cent moneymaker per box even without the checkout 51 on all the boxes. And then go back a few days later, submit that receipt for four more to inbox dollars and to Ibotta. That's assuming the Ibotta rebates do reset. Make sure you check that first, but you could potentially get up to 12 of these and they'll all be a moneymaker. I went ahead and picked up one of these organic girl salad mixes that are $4.99 and I've done this deal before. I have several of these coupons for a free product. I got these because I'm signed up for organic girls emails and they sent out an email looking for panel members to review a product and whoever did it got several free product coupons plus a $25 gift card. So that's where I got these was directly from the company. I highly recommend that you are signed up for companies emails that you like or that are known to send out offers and coupons. The last deal that I found today was something that I just happened to walk by in the store and those are my favorite deals. It's on these La Banderita tortillas that are buy one get one free priced at $3.09. They had these 55 cents off one peelies right on the product. 
So when I used two of those, they came out to just $1 per pack. A couple deals that I forgot to grab a picture of in store is the Arm & Hammer toothpaste that's buy one get one free, priced at $4.99. We have a $1.50 I bought a rebate, that's a limit of five, making them just a dollar each. And also Skippy peanut butter is buy one get one free, priced at $3.09. And we have a 50 cent I bought a rebate, that's a limit of five, making our final price for each of those just a dollar and five cents. I also didn't mention I have a midweek moneymaker bonus on Ibotta for $5 when you redeem 10 offers, which is really high. They've been really high for me lately, and I was already getting eight Ibotta offers, so I just went ahead and grabbed two more items. I grabbed a little Once Upon a Farm pouch that was $2.89, and I got back $0.50, cents. and then I got these little cups of cat food that were $1.25 each and I got back $1.33 for buying two of them. That helped me hit my $5 I bought a bonus. So in total at the register I spent $68.36. Over on Ibotta, I got back $18.43. That includes that $5 midweek moneymaker bonus that I'll be getting. I got back $1.54 on Shopkick. I did submit my receipt to Fetch, and I got back $0.35, cents, so I'll take it. And I submitted my receipt over to Checkout51, and I got back $11.60. I submitted my receipt over to my points and got back $19.13 and then over to stocking spree for about $3.02 back, making my grand total for everything here just $14.29. That means that I saved $170.25, which is 92% off of the retail price. That makes me so happy and I hope you all can go out and score these deals. Let me know in the comments if you do. Happy couponing!